Oh, shame, I did it wrong. Q. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation is it okay for me to use? Shame, I did it wrong, Q. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Whitney Q and today we are talking about iPhone tricks. iPhone tricks and tips, things that you don't know, that this wonderful tool, there's so, ma so many people I know have got an iPhone and they don't really utilize it, they don't really use the iPhone how they're supposed to use the iPhone, you know, there's so many, so much little things in here, I mean, to be honest, the iPhone doesn't really come with a manual. Does two phones come with manuals anymore? But I feel like playing around with your iPhone, you kind of figure it out. And some people don't play around with the iPhone, so that's why I am here to give you a few things that you are able to do with this lovely tool here. I have the iPhone 10R, so it's not any of the fancy ones like the 11 or 11 Pro, but it's good enough for me. Um, I was planning on getting a new iPhone, but Apple didn't release an iPhone this year. And I don't know why, I was thinking, but why are you not releasing a phone? But why? But why not? But why? But why not? But why? But why not? <laughs> Everyone tells me that I'm really good with technology and like I know little tips and tricks and all that great stuff. So I thought, let me do a video sharing some of those tips and tricks that I tell my friends and they're like, wow. Literally, they're like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. Wow, I'm not using my phone. So I thought, you know what? Sometimes it's good to share knowledge and I'm going to be screen recording my phone to show you the tips and tricks on things that you can do. Something that you can do, oh, it's me, is take pictures with your volume button. So your volume buttons are here, I'm sure you know this, but you can actually take pictures. And the reason why that's helpful is that sometimes it's actually quite hard to select this part of the screen is very very hard to select that part and especially when you're trying to do selfies you sometimes just want to hold the volume button which is here and then sometimes your thumb can't reach it and you can't get that angle so next time you're taking a picture simply use the volume button use it here and then it's even like you can use it to I mean just take pictures right now because I'm screen recording it's just taking pictures but you can use it to camera record as well video record as well i mean and you can use it for landscape you can use it in the other you can flip the camera around and use it but volume button <laughs> is a good way to take pictures on your phone tip number two is that you can actually use a bar at the bottom of the screen to slide from another app to another let me show you so as you can see right now i'm on spotify and if I want to go to the app that is also open, but I don't want to use the upside down L function, that bar at the bottom on Spotify is white, but usually it's black. But I think because Spotify has got a dark theme, so it turns out white here. But that white bar at the bottom, if you were to slide onto that bar, that bar will allow you to go onto your different apps. So now I'm on Instagram, now I'm on Shortcuts, now I'm on Widget Smith, now I'm on Twitter, now I'm on um, Google Maps, now I'm on YouTube, now I'm on my settings, you know, so this is how, and I've gone back to Spotify because that's the only apps I have open. So this is a great way. I'm going to show you the function of me doing it here on the screen so it's a bit easier for you. So just literally slide in the bottom of it. Hope I'm making sense. Yeah? So that's basically it. It's a good way to go through different apps. So if you're maybe copying something from one app to the other, you need to see something quickly in another app, you can slide back and forth using that bar at the bottom of the screen. The next tip that I have is that you can be fancy on iMessage. Not many people know this. So as an example, I'm gonna be sending myself some messages, but just to show you. Um, so I'm gonna type hi, and what I'm gonna do is hold down the arrow that you um, press when you wanna send a message, and then you can select these different effects. So you have slam, so if you want to get someone's attention, oh, why is, why is it embarrassing me? Okay, yeah, slam, loud, gentle, invisible ink. I'm not really a fan of invisible, invisible ink because it just creates confusion. And we also have the screen effects where you can have high written in so many different ways, but this time you have to slide to the left to get the different effects. So now we've got the spotlight, we have balloons, so if you want to say happy birthday to someone with balloons, maybe. And um, we've got confetti to maybe say congratulations. When you type in congratulations in iMessage, it automatically does that. I've noticed that. 
also you can send with love you send i love you to someone and you want to send it with a nice love heart that's great lasers if you want someone's attention to be fair all of this will get someone's attention i've got a huge celebration with bonfires and we've got some yeah that bonfires again like fireworks and yeah so these are the effects that comes with iMessage and it makes it fun and you just literally select the arrow and then it will see how it's come through <laughs> and it, i can feel the phone vibrate <laughs> It's so much fun to send and receive these. So if you use iMessage, I use iMessage a lot. And these are the, some, of the, some of the fun functions that come with, comes with it. And um, also if you want to acknowledge a message so you can hold down the message and you can either do a love heart, thumbs up, thumbs down, say a ha ha, exclamation mark or question mark if you're trying to question what they're trying to say. Um, so you can do that. So I'm gonna like, you know, no, just do that. Of course, I'm sending the message to myself, so it's not really coming through. But yeah, this is a great um, tool on iMessage. I thoroughly enjoy it. I like to send out things that, you know, gets people attention. If I'm trying to get emphasize a word or something, I use these tools in iMessage. So um, another function that iMessage has, and I think WhatsApp has it as well, is that if you want to show your location really quickly with someone, all you need to do is go into iMessage, and what you need to do is type I am at and then you can see it says current location you then select the current location and then it will give you the option to show, show your live location to that person and that person can know exactly where you are obviously don't be sending this to everybody and anyone because you know you don't want people to be stalking you but yeah it's a good way to show your location really really quickly and not having to say oh i'm at this place i'm at that place so just type i am at you select current location and then it will send it through so this next trick i actually found out about three days ago about this trick so sometimes i didn't know this but siri be saying people's names wrong and i get that because sometimes if you have a unique name or you have a name that's got a certain pronunciation siri doesn't recognize that but you can correct siri and tell siri listen this is how you say my name i've purposely changed siri as to how she says my name just so that i can show you how to correct it okay hey siri what is my name you what any that's what you told me anyway. That is not how you pronounce my name. Okay, let me hear how you say the name. Whitney. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation is it okay for me to use? So now I'm going to select one of the pronunciations. Whitney. 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 I quite like four. Whitney. Whitney. Okay, so we're going to select four. Okay, let me hear how you say the name. Q. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation is it okay for me to use? Q. Okay, I like that one. Could you say it again? Oh, shame, I did it wrong. Q. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation is it okay for me to use? Shame, I did the wrong Q. <laughs> Could you Let say it again? again? Q. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Which pronunciation so is it okay two, for me um, to use? We have two. So we have two options. Q. Capital Q. Okay, I like Q. the first one. So we're going to select that. Thanks for correcting me on that. I'll pronounce it as Whitney Q from now on. So this is how you get Siri to say things correctly. Another tip that I, sh I shared with one of my friends yesterday was that you can actually share your notes with other people. Um, you can share with, I don't know how many people, up to how many people, usually I share it with one or two people. But you can share your notes with however many people you want to share it with. Um, so it's here, hello, I want to share this note. And what you do is that you select the three button at the top and then you say share notes and then you just select who you want to share it to. So you can share it with iMessage, email, Snapchat, Twitter, WhatsApp, Outlook, Zoom, there's just so many. You can copy a link and paste it to wherever you want to paste it. And then once they have that invitation, they are able to make changes or you can just make it that they're just able to view it. So the share options is people you invite can make changes. If you don't want that, they can just view it. And that's a great way of um, sharing notes together me and my friend we have a note whereby we just put things that we want for our birthdays on there when we update it with links so then i go into the note and i know that okay cool she wants this item she wants that item and i select out the items and then i get her birthday gift you can use it for so many things you can use it for planning things you can use it for um just being on the same page about something um 
yeah it's a great tool to have and I thought just to share that with you just in case you two want to share your notes with other people but the last tip that I want to show you is how to do the degree sign when I have needed to use a degree sign in terms of like temperature I've always had to go online and type in degree sign and copy and paste it but there's a trick so we're back in our little notes again so I want to say today the weather is very hot it is and then if I want to put 35 degrees I'd go I type in 35 I go to the number zero and I hold down zero and there is our lovely sign how cool is that there's some other functions as well so if you wanted to use um if you wanted to do a pound sign or a dollar sign but you can't be bothered to go here to get the dollar sign you can just go to where the pound sign is hold it down and you have all the different currencies so we go through some dollars you know one million one million dollars or something like that um it's just a great way so yeah that's basically a very it's a very quick video i hope you've learned something new if you do have some tips and tricks that you know about the iphone and you would like to share please comment below and yeah share this video with anyone that you think needs to be utilizing that iphone a bit more I love the iPhone but if you like these kind of videos like technology stuff let me know I'm a bit of a geek I do like technology I'm not really like deep into it but I'm in it enough to understand what's going on but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and as I said if you have anything to say please comment below and I'll see you next time